A semantic pyramid is a novel method for bridging the gap between generative and discriminative models. A classification network predicts the class of an input image. Our semantic pyramid aims at inverting this process and generates different images that match intermediate feature maps. We don't generate just one image. We are able to explore the subspace of images matching an intermediate feature map, be it shallow layers or the deeper ones. The semantic pyramid is able to do that to any input image provided by the user in a single feedforward pass. This ability allows manipulating images through their semantics and gives rise to various applications, such as translation for various domains to natural images, for example, sketch to photo or semantic image composition, editing objects into scenes, also relabeling from one class to another, and more. Previous approaches mainly used feature inversion by backprop optimization to invert the network. However, being discriminative, these return a single average of the possible solutions. Generative models, on the other hand, generate diverse images given a class label. Semantic pyramid bridges the gap, sampling diversely from the space of all images per a feature map. Here's how it works. Using a pre-trained classifier, we designed a GAN in which the generator has a mirror-like architecture with respect to the classifier. Every generator layer is trained to be conditioned on a matching classifier layer as well as previous generator layers. For example, conditioning on features close to the pixels generates images very close to the input image. Modifying the noise allows sampling and exploring through the subspace of all images matching this feature map. Conditioning on a deeper layer produces a wider distribution of possible images and so on, gradually through the semantic levels all the way to the class label, hence the name semantic pyramid. To obtain these results, we use three types of losses. First, an adversarial loss, which enforces the output image to look natural. Second, a diversity loss that enforces different results for different noises. And third, a feature reconstruction loss, which means the result image goes through the classifier again and the matching feature map is compared to that of the input image. This enforces them to have the same feature map in the desired semantic level. Note that we don't have to use features from the same semantic level over the whole image. We can use a spatial mask to condition different regions on different semantic levels. We can use this to semantically edit images. For example, modifying the background while keeping the bush unchanged. Semantic pyramid gives rise to a wide variety of applications. The basic application is using feature inversion to generate by reference with a controllable amount of diversity, depending on the chosen layer. Note how the deepest layer even adds a motorcycle. We also introduce the challenge of repainting. Given an image and a mask, we modify only the wanted spatial regions while maintaining the same semantics so we can realistically edit backgrounds for hiking images or modify scenes just partially. In semantic composition, given a patch and a scene image, the goal is to harmonize the object into the scene realistically. Note how differently from similar works, the object drastically changes to match the environment, but keeps its semantic meaning. We can also use a special reference, such as a grayscale image, to generate diverse natural images, or translate a sketch to realistic looking scenes. Lastly, we demonstrate relabeling of some given image to a different class, so we can turn a highway into a desert road, or a mountain into a volcano. The semantic pyramid gives rise to all these applications by allowing to modify deep features and project the modification back to the pixels. Please see our paper for more details.